With the price of new and used graphics cards skyrocketing these days, it's hard for the budget conscious guy to upgrade. But what if I told you I found a whole PC that sports up to three screens at 4K resolution 60 hertz for less than $250? And then what if I told you the PC is super small it can be mounted just about anywhere with a supplied mount bracket? You may be thinking, great, another media player, but no, it's much more. And if you're interested, keep it right here as we take a look at this little Teresa mini PC. Hello folks, and welcome to Mods Tech. After I dig it out of the box, I notice, wow, that's a flashy design for a little box. It's a sparkly gray with a blinding gold trim running around the top edges. It comes with, I'm guessing, a vase amount to attach it to the back of a monitor, which is a neat idea. That would be good for cooling and tidying up the messy cords. And a box is almost everything supplied to get you up and going. You get an AC power adapter, an HDMI cord, just add your HDMI supported television or computer monitor. If your monitor does not support HDMI, that's no problem either. There's a VGA input on the mini PC for you. Now looking around the PC, it looks like mic, headphone jack, gigabit LAN, two HDMI outputs, USB 2.0, and power input. And a button on top, well that's the lid release button. The other side we have a USB 2.0, two USB 3.0, there's a mini SD flash card slot that can be used for extra storage, and a power switch. Under the lid is a perfect place for storage as well. Whether it's a 2.5 inch mechanical hard drive or a super fast solid state drive. So this means the 120 gigabyte drive that contains the activated Windows 10 Pro operating system must be hidden in here somewhere. So yeah, let's take a sneak peek, shall we? Cue that teardown music. Did anyone notice this USB Type-C port here? It's in a weird spot, but maybe I can utilize that for something. And aha, I did find our Windows boot drive here. I can be totally upgraded if needed or wanted. An Intel Celeron 4-core CPU with integrated graphics. Which brings me to the specs of this cool little machine. The Terry Zomini PC has an Intel Celeron J4125 up to 2.7 GHz, ultra high definition 600, Windows 10 Pro, 8 GB of DDR4 2400, dual band Wi Fi, Gigabyte Ethernet, Bluetooth 4.2, and it can support up to 4K, 60 Hz, 3 displays. So, with all that said, I think we should put it back together and test it. The BIOS is very slim down American Mega Trends with hardly any changeable settings, which is kind of a bummer unless there's some kind of advanced features you can get into, which I don't know. But after setting up your Windows 10 and all those horrific system slowdowns with its many updates, it's really a smooth running system with even a decent boot time. It doesn't hurt to check in with Device Manager to make sure Windows recognizes the hardware that's in our system because I'm itching to try my hand in a game or two on this little mini PC. So here we go. This is Valorant 1080p and probably the lowest settings, but it doesn't look and play all that bad. And this mini PC wasn't geared towards gaming anyways. So it's always a bonus when you can fire up a popular game and do some hero-like carnage.
But is this mini Marvel for you? I don't know. I do know this though. It's fun, cheaper than a laptop, very portable, and I even had it running off a 12 volt power bank. It has three screen capabilities, makes it great for stock trading. We'll play emulators pretty good as well. But you don't even have to take my word for this little guy. I'll put a link in the description and you can check it out for yourself. This I do encourage though, please stay safe and thanks for being a part of my sec channel. And always, if yourself can answer a question in the comments, please do so. It's a huge help. Thank you. Bye guys.